Hello, welcome back to the Off Grid family. Today I'm going to be trying to unblock our sink. Every so often you get a small blockage in a sink and it's my job to sort it out. Um, if you are a female or a male with long hair or you live with a female or a male with long hair, um, that is normally the culprit. Long hair get, just gets uh, plugged up inside and a little bit of pulling out and you should be able to get quite a lot of hair out and the drain should be a little bit better but we're going to still have to use some chemicals after that anyway but first off I will physically remove what I can and then we'll go from there before we start thank you so much for Paul, David and Simon my patrons your support is awesome and it really does help out the channel if you are interested in becoming a Patreon yourself, pop into the description below and there is a link to Patreon. There are behind the scenes videos, there is early access stuff and there is polls on deciding what we're going to do video wise in the future. Uh, if you want to become part of the channel, just pop down there and have a look. Only if you can afford it, obviously. Anyway, let me show you what you're going to need. Let's get on. Okay, so what we're going to be using is caustic soda, a jug full of water, some needle nose pliers and an old wooden spoon or anything to stir the caustic soda. Now, a few things. Caustic soda is super duper alkaline. This thing will eat through your skin and burn you. If you've ever seen Fight Club, this is what they use it for the burn scene during that. Uh, it, it's very nasty stuff. Uh, if you do get this on your hands and it starts to burn you, use a, um, any acid, so vinegar, something like that, and that will neutralize the, re the reaction, but even so, you know, do not get this on your hands, especially when your hands are wet. Always, always add caustic soda to water. Do not add water to caustic soda because it will just turn into a solid lump. This, unfortunately, has started to lump up. I didn't realize, but it's, um, it likes its water. Yeah, so I didn't know this is basically super hydroscopic. And even though it's been in the thing, it's been, the lid's been on as tight as it can be, it started to go solid. So from about here down, it is solid as a rock. So I'm gonna have to break that up to be able to use it. Um, so yeah, as I say, always add this to water. Do not add water to it, etc. Um, the needle nose pliers we're gonna use to remove the hair. And then this is just to stir the caustic soda in. Now, obviously there's gonna be some nasty echoes in here and I apologize for that, but please bear in mind, this is not going to be pleasant. But there will be lots and lots of hair. It's, it's inevitable. If you've got long hair, you've got a sink full of long hair. Right, I'm gonna to continue to do this off camera because no one needs to see this, but you get the drift. Just from unclogging some of the hair, you should notice that there will be a slight difference with the speed at which the water will go down, but that's not, you know, that's not where we're finishing, so give me a sec. So now I'm going to open the caustic soda, and I would advise wearing gloves, and I would also advise wearing um, eye protection, and if it's going to go everywhere, I would also advise wearing some form of mask, because this stuff, as I say, is very nasty. Right, I'm going to tip a whole chunk of this stuff in. basically all that's left it looks like apart from the solid bit at the bottom and then I'm going to start mixing now this is an exothermic reaction so at the moment it is 26 oh. I left to get my um, thermometer and it started to stick to the bottom. Oh well, but as you can see, the temperature is rising. Now I tend to keep mixing until it goes clear. I 
as you'll see it's starting to clear up now it's pretty warm to the touch as I say I'd normally have used a bit more caustic soda than that but we are solid as a rock in there now which is a shame Okay, now we're ready to use it. Right, now very carefully and very slowly, you want to pour this. So basically, gets a chance to, you know, break down all of the nasties in there. Right, it's been about five minutes, so let's give it a go. Much, much better. I realised the comment section would go mad if I didn't put this back on and they'd have claimed it was this that was blocking the sink. So obviously this will restrict some of the flow but no one knew what it was like. Okay, there you go. A little bit of caustic soda, a little bit of elbow grease and the job's done. It's It shouldn't take you too long and um, I, you have to do it every so often. It's not a, not a pleasant job, but it's just one of those things you have to do. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons. See you again next time. Bye for now.